going on everybody and welcome back to the Half-Ass Garage. I appreciate you coming to hang out where today we're going to work on the go-kart. So yeah, go-kart time. I did a little bit kind of off camera because uh, it would have just been a bunch of time consuming stuff and uh, the analytics show that you don't like to see that stuff. So I cut it out and uh, I'll show you what we're what uh, I'll show you what's going on with it right now. Kind of in the mock-up stages. Yeah, I cut this back a little bit farther or I gave myself more room than I think I might need just so I can kind of fidget around in here and and figure it all out. Uh, I put the spindles from the front end. I don't know. I, oh, right there. I put the spindles on there and they are funky. So these, of course, um, they're way wrong. You know, wouldn't you know it? All this stuff is bent and screwed up. Uh, go figure. So these are obviously at a weird angle that will have to be addressed at some point. Um, this I cut off the steering shaft. I kind of just cut it off because this is going to probably need to be cut right down here at this tube because it's way too close up here. Um, maybe a new tube put in here. All this move forward. Uh, it'll be okay with my feet. I might leave those pedals. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is kind of where I'm going with it. It needs to be leveled out. You can see it's, it's not level. So I need to kind of shim things and jack things up so that I can uh, level it all out and figure out the overall length. Now, the good thing is, even if I have <coughs> ah, grinding dust, even if I have a little bit uh, more length here and it's a little bit long, I can move the seat up just a tad and that'll help. So there is adjustability in who rides it, whether it's me or, or somebody smaller, you move the seat up and that'll be good. Um, yeah, so I gotta cut this cut this off down there then I think I could probably just cut it here twist this thing up I don't know exactly what uh, angle the shaft will be on yet because it's kind of hard to explain what I'm gonna do but I'll try um, another bar farther forward up and then the same deal that that thing's got right there but this steering shaft is gonna go forward through here and attach to the front so then that will allow me to get the steering bars or tie rods or whatever you want to call them out here. One thing that you might notice is they're pretty far down. So um, all the steering bars will be up here and that's a pretty steep angle. So I'll maybe build some risers on that or redesign it. Who knows what I'm going to do with these. Obviously they need to be changed because uh, the tire is going to be sitting like that then. But uh, I'll build some risers up and I'll get the geometry a little bit more even coming through there. But yeah, so that's kind of what's going on. These bars here, I'm going to try to tie back into this bar. So that's going to kind of be the idea. I do have some of these that I cut off from the black frame. Let's see how close we are. All right, well... We should have enough room, or enough material rather, so I don't have to go buy anything. So we'll figure all that stuff out at a later date. Let's see how funky of an angle these are on. Ooh, yeah, kind of rough. <laughs> kind of looks like it's in the middle of a jump right now. Um, I don't know if the steer or if the suspension is going to really compress much. Just, it's not very heavy, the whole thing, and once you're on it, it might compress a little bit and change the geometry and make it more normal. We'll just have to see. <clears throat> One thing I did notice that's troubling is just me screwing around in the yard is twisting what I'm assuming is a tube inside of here. So the tube is getting rotated uh, around, so I might end up ruining the tubes in these if I don't, you know calm my wild spirit <laughs> on this this one isn't so bad but i did run these basically empty and uh you know no air in it to try to cushion it a little bit and see if it would handle a little bit better which it did but uh, i think i just twisted the tube they still hold air though so no big deal 
And uh, yeah, I think I've talked long enough, eh? So uh, I'll level all this stuff up and then we'll come back and see kind of where we're at. All right, check this out. So on these things, you know, these little flap wheel and get in here and get around there. It's kind of hard to do because round tube is kind of difficult to work with, but it's not so hard to work with if you've got one of these. So this is a tubing sander and it conforms to the tube. Pretty sweet. That's how she goes. If you are curious what machine this is, it's the Flex. There you go. So if you're ever looking for one, oops, there you go. Now you know what it is and how it works. All right, it might not look like much has changed, but uh, I redid the leveling. Got it really straight. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's uh, it's nice and flat and even now. Uh, did a little bit of grinding. Got my mating surfaces pretty good, so it should weld all right. Hopefully, the welder will play nice today and uh, whatever. So I'm just going to tack it here and... Uh, should be good. I did lift up the front of the cart so it's not on such a downward angle. It just made it easier. I didn't have to shim it quite as much. So, yeah. Here we go. I'm going to weld it up. That'll be good enough. Yeah, it's fine. And it's good enough for for this. I don't even know if it's yeah. Um yeah, that's globby. So this metal here for some reason was blowing through really easy. You can see up there there's a hole. Where is it in the front? You can see there somebody blew through on that. I don't know what the deal was um, with this particular type of steel, but it was uh, just burning through really easy. So I even had to turn this crappy welder down to its lowest setting, which is pretty uncommon. I, I never have to do that. 
my cool helmet. Yeah, I never have to turn this thing down to the lowest setting, but I did on this. Well, there we go. Good enough. Um, I had to turn my gas up. Uh, that's why I was getting that kind of brown dust. Is uh, For some reason, my regulators were down around 13 pounds. So I turned that up, and no problem then after that, really. Uh, this weld here is crap. Uh, this tube here, for whatever reason, is really blows through easy. You can even see right here um, where they tacked on like these little these little things. Just that right there was apparently enough to to just blow right through the uh, tube. So I don't know what the deal is with this type of steel, but it just wants to melt really easily, you know. So, but that's pretty much uh, the way it's gonna look. It's basically straight. Everything's good. I figured I would add a little bit of um, width here. So as you could turn those around, you could add the bend um, farther back here and then cut in narrow or wider and then cut in narrow. So I chose to have more width around where your kind of hips and, and thighs and stuff would be and then cut in deep here. Uh, I think that's going to be good. I have to do a bunch of grinding on here, as I said, because I don't know what the deal is with this type of steel. But... Man, it wasn't uh, it wasn't liking that. That's still pretty hot. <laughs> Once I kind of got the welder figured out and everything, it it welded all right, I guess. Good enough and strong enough. This will have a nice, you know, a lot of rigidity up in here, down here. They don't even have anything on this, but it's tied into the main component here. Oh, uh, there'll be another another bar going down there that this steering shaft will attached to so it shouldn't our steering riser so it shouldn't be a problem it's gonna be nice and strong i don't think it's gonna break with what we're doing with it this is some of that black tube that this thing's made out of it seems like the wall is pretty thick but holy cow did it cook through um way different than this stuff so i don't know i guess i'm gonna have to just weld this thing on low That'll be all right. All right, let me show you a little bit what's happening. Um, just got this thing cooled down, and I made this this piece here. Now this is just uh, the crossbar, or whatever you want to call it, the support for the steering wheel. Just kind of whipped it up real quick out of some scrap junk that was laying around. Uh, this used to be a treadmill from the 90s that I found, and I cut it up, and I've been using the steel forever. Um, so it's going to kind of fit sort of like that-ish. Uh, I made it so that it'll sort of fit around the, the tube. And then the idea is I'll cut some slots in the sides of this, and that will allow the steering wheel to do the whole round peg squ square hole type of deal. Essentially, it'll, it'll be higher than that, of course. I need to come up with a, a support for this thing. Looks like maybe four inches tall, something like that. And then that will sit into that little frame thing. And then we'll have a steering wheel. And the rest should be relatively easy, <laughs> I would think. Uh, famous last words. All right, well, we're having some kind of weird weird issues of sorts um i never even noticed this but that whole like whatever you would call that spindle holder a little c channel was totally bent so that's why that uh axle or spindle or whatever was aiming super far down so i got the old torch out kind of heated it up and bent it back bent that one a little bit um kind of even it out i figure it's on an angle like this. The suspension's all the way down. If I sit in it, it should bring it up somewhat level. I don't know. This one was bent up too, so I'm just gonna 
I don't know, get some cool torch footage and whatever. Try to bend this thing back. You can see it's it's they're not even. They're off on an angle like that. So I'm going to try to bring that bottom in and uh, make it kind of more straight like that one. So I figured torches look cool. Might as well get some footage while I can. I should have done it before, but I didn't think about it. All right, so the front end thing is, I showed you I bent those out, got a torch on them, kind of bent them in shape. One's a little lower. Uh, this one's still angled down a little bit. Did I even get that? This one's angled down a little bit more, where this one's a little bit straighter. So I might work on that thing a little bit more. Um, this is still a super high um, angle for the steering linkages to be on. But I'm going to work on that, maybe make some standoffs. These should really be moved up. But I don't think I want to deal with all that. I'll just make the standoffs because I don't feel like cutting off all that weird stuff and welding it back in. Um, as far as the steering thing goes or whatever, I made the I made that weird little square deal out of the box. I just tacked it all together. And there's some lines on here. There you go. As the height that will be good. So I did sit in it. And then I can put it in there and kind of adjust it back and forth. That's why it's so rough. I left some wiggle room so I can get the height there uh, to where I need. So this is wider. I think I showed you guys that. can't remember. So there's some length that I'll have to add into this, about three or four inches. can't really tell on the camera, but um, yeah, it needs, needs to be lengthened. I already started doing that to the other one over here. So I kind of threw it up on here and chamfered the edges really good and got a good good weld penetrated down in there. It needs to be cleaned up some because I was having some issues getting grounds on it um, because it's kind of wobbly and whatnot. Then I dipped my tungsten and decided I'm calling it a night. So that was that. Finding the uh, length of of rod or round stock was actually pretty difficult. I ended up uh, cannibalizing some flower pot hanger things that uh, were laying around somewhere. And then I found this one length there. So I ended up using that stuff. And then uh, this round stock here, this black pipe, I think will be good enough for me to make those standoffs in. So that's probably what I'm gonna use. This is some junk steel. It's it's really bad quality stuff. So I'll use that to get the steering kind of fitted up and uh, working correctly. And then I'll make some nicer stuff um, with better materials. I think I, I found some of this quarter inch um, so or 3 16 or whatever it is. Not a whole lot more to do on it. Weld this thing up. Make that little brace for there. Weld this together. And... Uh, I think pretty much be good to go. All right, a new day. Got some cool stuff happening over here. Let me show you what's going on. All right, well, I super overheated this. Look how nice and purple it is. That's pretty sweet. So anyway, I welded this little standoff on there, welded the collar on, got the steering arms kind of mocked up, little risers there. Okay, they're just, now this is temporary, but it'll probably be permanent, you know, how things go. Um, not a whole lot has changed since the last time. It was more of like figuring out sort of uh, the geometry. I did weld some pieces in here. Uh, unfortunately, the rod I had is, a, is like a millimeter smaller than this rod. So it looks a little weird, but nice and strong, and it'll be fine. Nothing is really tight yet, but um, yeah. We got steering, so that'll work. I might cut a little relief in there for that, but I don't think we're kind of at the at the limit of what that's going to be useful at. Anything more than that's going to be nothing. So I think it's fine the way that it is. Could probably bend a little bow in that upper rod. Um, but basically, 
Yeah, I just need to do some align. Oops, you're way out of frame. So yeah, I just have to do some like minor alignment stuff to kind of get it. This way it turns way sharper than this way, but that's probably all the slop that's in the front end right now because nothing is bolted down. And that is an extreme oversight on my part. The more you turn this, the more this slides down until it bottoms out against the bottom plate. So what I should have done is put a collar up in here to stop this from going forward. <clears throat> I'm about to remedy that situation. There we go. Fixed. All right, I got everything sort of tight. Um, it's good enough. I didn't weld this into place yet, but we're doing good. Lubed up. All right, well, it's like 70 something degrees today and I've been working on this thing like all day. So um, yeah, I think I've got a lot done and uh, you'll see. So the, the thinly veiled joke in my channel name couldn't be more perfectly described than what I did with this go-kart. So I'll show you what I got done. All right, steering is all set, it's all tight. Um, works good enough, I guess. Whatever, shocks are tight, everything's good. These, I just, <laughs> these are um, creative. That's the word I'll use. Uh, yeah, I just used what I had laying around. Most of the stuff uh, like that, that nut, that was already on there. There was supposed to be a spring. I've lost that. Um, yeah, so I just made the brakes work. This one over here <clears throat> is interesting. Yeah, creative. So I made a tab. Um, these new uh, cables are a little different. They have like an eyelet on it, which other ones didn't have. And I think you might have seen in the other video, I like ruined that thing. So all I did was welded some nuts on there. And you can hear. Got throttle working, zip tied the cables down, nothing too crazy, brake over there, gas here, everything's good. Made another tab here, got the brake line working, so um, right now it's sitting on there, but this should work good enough, better than nothing. So there's that. Uh, what else did I do? Basically that's about it. I <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at this atrocity. So I, I welded this thing up. It's still probably super hot. I didn't bother grinding it off. Can't look at that anymore. Ste steering shaft is all done. Um, I could grind on this and fix it up and make it look nicer, but I'm not gonna. I don't care. This is taking way longer than I wanted it to. So uh, we're just gonna roll with it how it is. I haven't really sat it down yet to see how it how it's going to work once I sit in it. I haven't even tested to see if everything like fits right on me or not. I didn't finish weld this or anything. It's crazy. Uh, I had to make this collar cause I made that mistake, um, by not moving the co uh, column correctly. So now at least it won't slide down and this will run into the support. So everything is, is pretty, Pretty awesome. It's it's good enough. So we're gonna run it and see how it goes. So let's give it a shot.
the rear suspension has changed a lot, but I guess that's due to the front end. So I'll have to tighten these up, apparently. Yamaha FJ09 shock adjuster. So I actually sold this bike, but I had an extra set of the tools. So, works good. Perfect. Let's move over to the other side. What do you think? Fun, right? It's a blast. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's super fun for basically no money that I've got in it other than, you know, buying the go-kart. The crappy bolts, the, you know, really cheesy fabrication, all that stuff, worth it. It's totally worth it. Um, the brakes broke mostly because the, the cable pulled through my washers, which is expected i'll show you that in a minute but overall you saw i could take it over some like little jumps and things and it was great like oh, my back doesn't even hurt from it it's awesome i love my go-kart i think it's i don't know we didn't need to measure how much it's been stretched because it totally changed the way that the rear shocks worked and i never expected that i guess i should have but i never thought that it would be softer in the back from the stretch there's not really that much weight on the front i mean who knows so let's look at it and see if anything broke. So what do y'all think? Pretty sweet, right? Suspension is awesome. It's like a Cadillac, man. It's great. So yeah, thanks a lot for hanging out in the half-assed garage and going with me on this crazy go-kart adventure. Hope that you guys had some fun and uh, liked watching along and all of that stuff. It's super cool. I'm thrilled with the performance of this, you know, the Lawn Destroyer, it's way better than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be just rickety and crappy and a piece of junk. And I guess in some respects, it kind of still is or always was a piece of junk, but it's a super fun piece of junk right now. So yeah, uh, leave a comment down below of colors of paint, what you think, stripes or whatever you want on there. We'll see what happens. We'll see. I kind of think blue would be a cool color for it, but I'm open to suggestions other than red. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments because it's always fun to talk to you guys. Let me know about your cool go-kart stories, where you think we might go with this thing down the road. Like I said shifter cart was ultimately where I'd like to be at. And uh, yeah, there's that, but I'd like to stay with, you know, full suspension because it's super awesome. And around here, it's, you know, dirt roads and stuff. So there's that. So yeah, if you like the videos, go watch some of my other ones. Uh, there's a couple more videos on the go-kart for sure. And then uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You know, throw a like and a comment down there, help the channel grow. Hopefully someday we can get uh, to the thousand sub mark and uh, you know, see what happens after that. Hopefully get into some really awesome projects. And uh, yeah, so now we got two things out of the way. We got the CX-500 gone. We got the go-kart basically finished, little tiny things. Um, Jeep is done now. It's been, a, this has been a lot actually since last summer. Thanks again for watching the half Ass Garage. I really do appreciate you guys. Everything's awesome, super fun. Summer's just about here with 70 something degrees today. Awesome. And uh, lava lamp, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, thanks to BNC Performance. Thanks buddy. I, uh, I always have it on out here. And uh, it's awesome. So you've added a little bit of color and happiness to the shop. So it makes me happy when I see it. And I know that you like it too. So again, I'm super happy with the go-kart. 
it's awesome. It, it came out so good. I, I'm shocked. I didn't think it was going to be as nice as it is. And uh, I'm really happy. So anyway, thanks again. And I'll catch you next time. Be good. Thanks for watching the Half-Ass Garage.